Hey guys, so this is the first part of my concept art experiment. So right now I'm just getting reference and um, I'm figuring out live stream and my first half an hour was just kind of figuring things out. Basically, I'm doing the James Pig method of gathering my research and putting it all on one PSD file. That's something James Pig did in his workshop. It's pretty interesting and I'm just sketching in uh, loosely so far. It's not as good as, um, uh, it's not a really good sketch. Honestly, I um, had to look a lot of research. Research took a long time. Um, maybe I spent too much time doing research, I don't know. But it's like, I had to research concept illustrations, I had to research yeah, Mega Man gameplay, and yeah, like I'm looking through a lot of like YouTube videos and stuff right now, and I'm getting screenshots and stuff, and I'm gonna use those textures in my painting later, right now. Okay, so I'm I'm using them and uh, yeah, it helps me with perspective, so that was pretty cool, just getting perspective right right off the bat and then putting in like an extra wall and you know, for scenic, I definitely see that being, um, you know, practical and easy to do and there's some pipes, I think that's, that's really good too. Oh, yeah, I'm doing like, um, I'm copying something and I'm duplicating it, that's something John Park did in his workshop for, um, it's pretty cool, James Pig did that too. So I laid in the texture so far. Um, looking back, I probably should have adjusted the values, but I thought that came, it was like, I thought it was a lighting pass, but whatever. So now I'm putting this in. And again, like the values and stuff, they don't look really good, but whatever. Um, I'll learn next time. And now I'm putting in like the blasters and stuff, I'm, I'm putting people in, and I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at drawing people, <laughs> but it looks okay. I figured it'll look okay after I put everything in, and this is like totally cheating, but you know, whatever. For um, this experiment, I'll just do that. And yeah, so that part, this part was super fun, you know? Because um, it's really surprising, I'm having a lot of fun, and that's definitely my goal. I definitely want to have fun and do this more. Um, like, I have no idea what's going on. I love those fences. It makes it seem, I was thinking like maybe it's like a hub spoke design, where you go in to each room, and each room is like a level and a boss. And like this would be, um, what's that called? Um, trackless. So it could be trackless. So they go into each room and they go out and it resets again. So yeah, I'm thinking about like um, just how it could be like Transformers ride plus Buzz Lightyear kind of thing. You know, so I'm thinking about Nintendo's building, uh, Universal's building a Nintendo park and how would Nintendo build their rides. It's a little bit different from how Disney would build them. So I'm thinking about that. Um, so yeah, I took another break. So I'm about like three hour, like uh, two hours in so far, I think one, two, two hours in so far, and I got a lot done. I'm pretty happy. So yeah, I put in all these uh, the bad guys in, and then right now I'm um, doing values. I should have done this earlier because now I'm like, oh, it's so tedious. Um, I have to do it all over again. So that was annoying, but um, yeah, I like this part actually, doing the values. Um, yeah, just making things look kind of sexy. And just, uh, so I'm adjusting like the depth for that now, um, making things look better and presentable. And um, I was thinking I was going to do this at the end, but I'd really rather do it along the way. Right now, um, yeah, I already added all the textures and all the photos and all the screenshots. And yeah, I think this part's looking pretty good. I'm really taking my time, making it look sexy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and now when I put like the, the ride vehicle in, the boosters, I realize, oh man, it looks like crap. crap. Well, this part looks really good, right? But um, yeah, that looks like crap, so I'm like, okay, now I have to completely fix that. So I do the lighting. I do a lot of adjustment layers. That's one thing James Pig did. He doesn't paint by hand, it's just adjustment layers. I do a little bit of hand painting to get that flavor in there. Oh, on the bottom, occlusion, ambient occlusion layer. Make sure to get that in. Um, some shadows, kind of desaturate it too, so it looks a little bit cooler. Um, just hue, put some fog atmosphere perspective, and um, yeah, so this part's looking pretty good. And then later, I add the effects and stuff, and but like, fuck, dude, I forgot to record the last part, so unfortunately, the last part, you don't see me do it. Um, so this is what I have so far, and it looks pretty good, and then I have to add the people, right? I'll just show the final. Here it is. This is the final, and I forgot to record this part, it would have been cool. I think I went overboard on the effects a lot, but um, whatever. I have a lot more opportunities to do this. So what are some things that I learned? 
Um, I think so. The positive part of this process was that it was super fun. It was super exciting because um, usually I do line art and I know I figure everything out beforehand. But when I was doing like this photo bashing technique, I wasn't really sure, and it was very fast because I was designing and painting as I went along, and I had no idea how it was going to turn out. So it was very fun and interesting to me. It's kind of like freestyling in a dance circle. You know, you don't know how it's going to turn out. And at a four hour completion time, that's very fast. I did take a lot of breaks over the course of three days, but and, and only spent four hours on it. Eventually, by Sunday, I want to get to like, um, I don't know, like, like three hours, no breaks, you know, four to seven, bam. And I think this is worth good money. Like something like this, I can see this being at least worth $500, maybe a thousand if I improve my skills a little bit more, maybe if it's even worth like 700 now, I don't know. But definitely it could be a really, you know, this will really boost my worth in terms of day rate. Okay, next is negative. Problem is it didn't look good at high resolution when you really zoom in close, it's not, uh, you know, okay. Uh, forgot to screen chat the last one, all right? Next is um, what I learned. I need to do my composition value as I photo texture. Um, yeah, basically it means that like I went back to do values, whereas I wish I kind of just went along. It would have been more fun that way. Um, I did uh, spend a lot of time doing research with only half hour, but I felt like I don't need to do too much research. Otherwise it gets too confusing and I get too bogged down. I want to try to stick with my gun and just instinct and just make it up as I go. I think I'll try that next time. But mostly, if there's anything I learned, it's the make sure to do the lighting as I do the photo texture. And if I want to do an artificial light pass later and effects later, like sparks and light beams, I'll do that in the end. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Bye bye. Never mind, I actually found it. Okay, here I am painting the people and uh, putting the light beams in. You know, I'm just like, uh, well, Mega Man, he does like little beaks. He's not Iron Man, he's a little bit different. Not really sure the right way to do it. But I figure, yeah, this will look good. Put in some smog and lighting, you know, more theatrical stuff, putting some lights and stuff all in separate layers. And yeah, it's done.